I'm sitting with an awesome, awesome lady, uh, and we are going to be talking about her journey, the books that she has written. Guys, she has written a lot of books. <laughs> I'm sitting with Imelda Tsumba, the author of 48 books mm -hmm. so far, guys. 48 books. one book, I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> Good morning to you, Imelda. How are you Good today? Good morning. I am well, and thanks for having me. We, you are, you are so you welcome right here on Morning Rush, so. and it's such an honor to really be sitting with you. I'm just listening to your story, and I have known you for some time, just watching for you and your ever. journey forever. You're like my mom, literally. Yes, yes. And, you know, one of the biggest highlights that I know yeah. about you, if somebody says to me, Imelda Tsumba, I know... Uh, is prayer walking. Oh, so right. Please really? tell, tell us about your journey of prayer work, walking. Um, you know, I love prayer. Mm -hmm. And um, every morning I, um, I walk like six kilometers. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I ride 12 kilometers. Wow. But I don't just walk. I, don't, I pray during that time. Mm -hmm. That's my hour of power. Hour of power. I find during that time I talk to God. I... We reason together. <laughs> you That's know. your pavilion with him. Uh, yeah, and I'm thinking, well, why are you doing this? You know, I, it's just a me time. I find yeah. it's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's good for me. It's, it's part of my exercise. Right. You know, it's part of my work. Mm -hmm. You know, I always say, for me, prayer is not prayer. It's, that's how I go to work. That's a job. You know, that's a job. It's a full-time job. That is incredible. So mm -hmm. the reason why I'm asking that, obviously, a lot is birthed in prayer. And yeah. with, with writing 48 books, is not is no little feat. I mean, that's absolutely a big thing. And Each book the, is like a baby. Each book is like a baby. You, it's worth it. Yes. You know, and you're birthing you, it. And even when you're birthing it, mm -hmm. you just know... <laughs> if the baby is out, out now, now. You know, <laughs> and when you're pregnant with it, it's like, whoa, oh my goodness, the, the, carrying you know, it. It, it. It's almost like the wheels fall off, everything mm. comes, you know, to, to, to make you not finish it. Right. So you just have to fight your way to and push make through. sure it happens. That is actually something for it's somebody discipline. who's watching right now. Mm. If you are writing a book and you feel like, oh my God, this is not ending, yeah. it no. is a pregnancy and it is a fight. It is. And right. there are a lot of distractions mm -hmm. that you have to fight. It's right. a choice. If you don't choose, you will not finish. Right. Mm. And now you've written all these 48 books. Which was yes. your first book? Oh. My first book is when I lost my son, mm -hmm. Tuffy. Mm -hmm. um, he was 27 years old in 2010. Right. Before that, I would write, you know, like my own book. Eh. So now we say, you know, just I, have, I would have booklets and just little funny things. But I didn't realize it was a gift until I lost my son. Wow. You know, when I lost him, the pain was so much. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to handle it. It was, and I didn't think anyone knew how to handle me. Yeah. For those of you who have lost children, they would know what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's the most traumatic thing. We are supposed to be buried by our children, yes, not, not to bury our children. Around. So I wrote a book called The Unexpected, okay. you know. And then I realized that, you know, when you write one book, when you're editing it, mm -hmm. two, three times you read it. Mm -hmm. This one, I edited it 20 times. Wow. But I realized, as I did, I would just cry my heart out. Mm -hmm. Just, And I realized the more I cried, the more I edited, the more I healed. For yeah. me, it was it a was journey healing. of self-healing. Right. I realized, oh my goodness, writing is therapeutic. <laughs> You know, and, and I, that gave birth now to uh, all of these fantastic books you've I written. never stopped because I realized not just for grief. Mm -hmm. When you're anxious, I, I write. Right. When you're happy. You know, if you do something that I don't like, I write about <laughs> it and I feel better. Right. For me, it's a release valve. It's therapy. But it's so helpful. For me, it's self-healing. Right. So that's how I started. Okay. And then we jump on to your next book, which I remember is was on a topic that obviously people don't like talking about uh, abortion oh abortion is consequences yeah. yeah tell us about yeah. that book that book uh, is a real story okay and um it, people don't talk about abortion mm -hmm. in zimbabwe yeah especially in, in our, our culture, culture yeah. people don't talk about it but it has so many consequences that mm -hmm. are so detrimental to the health to the individual so 
the person who wrote this book realized that if I don't talk about this kind of pain, a lot of people are dying quietly, yes. especially women and girls. Mm -hmm. So it's a book that was written from how it started, the wrong way that it started, and how it can be... Affect you for how, your life. And how it can help people. Right. And actually, the Ministry of um, Higher and Tertiary Education have actually accepted that little book. As curriculum now in the schools? N no, as uh, supplementary reading for oh, right. counselling and things like that. Okay. It's an incredible book. I would recommend that a young person, boy should or girl, read that. Yes. they should read because the girl in there, she just talks about, you know, how messed up she was, the mistakes she made, and how she can help other people. That's good. And one of the other books I know that we, we did an interview with you was on your marriage handbook um, yes. as well. And I know that that really helps marriages and stuff. Yes. So I see in your pattern of writing, you really want to help people. Yes, I'm a people helper. You're a people helper. And, I'm and, an encourager. Yeah. yeah, and that just brings me to this word. I mean, we've been mm. talking about purpose a lot. Yeah. Uh, we talked about purpose in our first hour as well. And just talking about purpose, what's your purpose uh, in life, especially with these books that you're reading? <sighs> you know, I always realize, I look at my life. You, when you look at all my books, mm -hmm. these are the experiences I've gone through. Right. You know, good and bad. Mm -hmm. And I've realized that people are born original. But we die carbon copies. Wow. Because <laughs> so, we want to copy everyone. Uh, so my books, they help people go back to their original intended purpose of living. Okay. You know, because um, I do step by step, you know, teaching of how... I, I basically teach people how to live life. That's Let's good. live life because I've seen it all. I've done it all. I've made mistakes. I've done this. But you realize that at the end of the day, my purpose is to do what God has called me to do. Right. Because each one of us is purpose. That's true. Unique purpose. You know, especially young people, they want to copy, they want to do this, but what were you born for? What were you born for? I always say there are two dates that are important in life. The day you were born and the day you yeah. find out why. All right. Oh, I just said that. <laughs> that was the wrong one. The day you find out yes. why. Because once you find out how... When I write, I'm like a fish in water. Wow. Because That's your I have found my purpose. Beautiful. And when I come and then I, and I start you will not stop me from doing it because I found what makes me happy. Good. Mm -hmm. And one of the things as well that we are struggling with as the world is the issue of drug and substance abuse. Mm -hmm. Now, you write this book, Destiny Destroyer, yes. and it's talking yes. about substance abuse, drugs, and alcohol. I what know. got you just quickly to write this book? Um, you know, this is a very painful story. My mom, one of my brothers died of alcohol. All right. He was an alcoholic and he died. So it was so painful just watching his life deteriorate. You know, someone you grew up to, looking up to, someone who's your role model, yeah. someone who was successful in life, to see what alcohol Can that do did to, to him. Wow. And, you know, so it's, it's also coming from personal experience, Experiences. where it's in, it was in the family. Yeah. It, it's not nice. It's it not rips nice. people apart, yeah. and it's so and it's, painful. We need, we need uh, to read this book. It's, it's called um, A Destiny Destroyer. But yes. just before we run out of time, uh, Imelda, you mm -hmm. reap what you sow. Yeah. This is your latest baby. This is my latest baby. <laughs> you reap what you sow yes. is the latest book. What is this book about, just quickly? You know, when I look at my life, I've sown good seeds and I've sown bad seeds. Mm -hmm. You know, you reap what you sow, and you reap more than you sow. Wow. And I've realized that the seeds that I've sown, the good ones have blossomed, the bad ones have also oh, blossomed. blossomed. So I'm now, I'm now very intentional about the, the way I live now, okay. to sow good seeds. Good, that's because excellent. Because I want a good harvest. That's excellent. And you are uh, having a launch of your 48th book yes. in August. Yes, on okay. the 24th of August okay. at Grandview Lodge okay. from 2 to 5 p.m. And the dress code is yellow, white, and gold. Yellow is my favorite <laughs> color. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So this is on the, on the 20th. 24th, 24th of, of August, August. Uh, and you're, you're um, launching this, I mean, 48 books. Well done. I mean, I'm just yes, in awe of that. Yes, thank you so much. It's the, the grace of God. Amen. Grand View Lodge. Grand View Lodge. 
Grand View Lodge is in Hillside. Yes. And are we so paying for this event? Yes, it's $35 okay. in ticket. It is amazing. You don't want to miss you that. You don't want to miss that. And where do yeah. we get our tickets? Phone me. Well, phone you. <laughs> so can you give us your number real quick? And just looking 0 at that number. 0772-400-517. It's, it's a very limited, limited. We don't want a lot of Too people. many people. Yeah, That's good. But so, this is excellent. We have yeah. run out of time this morning. No but problem. sitting with you has been such great so wealth for me. Thank I mean, I've taken a lot from me. you and just watching you. And well done for all these books. Looking forward to the 50th as well, because I do yes. know that's where you're headed. It's almost here. Right. Now, sitting with the ever so beautiful Imelda Tsumba. She's Thank the author you. of 48 books guys let's support her we'll find your books on um uh, amazon as well yes there's some at worldwide worldwide bookstore, bookstore at well. celebration center and all of them are on amazon and that's it and mm. we did get her number so please get in touch konapo konapo ipapo ipapo pa zetien prime dstv channel 294 the place to be